Oh, curious student, let us see what is there in this question. In a hydrogen atom, the sum of the masses of proton and an electron is larger than the mass of the atom in total. Which interaction is mainly responsible for this difference? Now, what is happening here? Try to understand. Uh, basically, they are referring to, trying to refer to mass defect concept. Uh, the mass defect was actually about the nucleus. It was not about the atom in the first place. So again, like this uh, concept, have, it, it has not been discussed in our books and in our syllabus. But what they are saying is that when an atom is created, like there is one proton here and there is one electron here, when even they are coming together, they are creating an atom and the electron is moving into a bound state now. Earlier it was not in bound state, but now it is in the bound state. So some difference in the mass takes place. That That is the mass of proton plus mass of electron individually comes out to be greater than the mass of the atom, which is having one proton and one electron. Again, the question is, where is that mass? Now, what they say is that some mass has to be given up by these uh, subatomic particles um, uh, to create an atom or to create a nucleus. If there is a problem in creating nucleus, we call it mass defect. Now we are talking about the atom, so we are specifically not talking about the mass defect, but still we can say that yes, some mass will be lost. So what could be the interaction? Are, are these uh, nuclear interactions? Obviously not, because we are yet not talking about the nucleus. We're still talking about the atom. Are we talking about gravitational? Obviously not. So our answer will be electromagnetic interaction. Similar, simple, this is positive and this is negative. And we know it from the theory of, given by Bohr, theory given by Rutherford, that this electron is experiencing a Coulombic force because of the proton, which is actually acting like the centripetal force. And that is why the electron is revolving around the nucleus. So we know that electromagnetic induction, electromagnetic interaction is taking place inside an atom. Hence, the answer will be clearly A. But uh, there is um, no doubt about this thing that this topic or this uh, idea has not been even discussed once in our books. Anyway, so this is Professor Varun. Thanks for joining. Please share the video with all your friends. All the best. Bye.